Road ecology is the study of how our environment interacts with roads and road networks and how biodiversity is impacted. So wildlife populations, ecosystems, it also involves studying how we can mitigate those effects. So roads are arguably the biggest human artifact on the planet. You can see the networks from space. You can't walk more than a kilometer or a half in southern Ontario without hitting a road. So they are pervasive. And so there's no one species that isn't impacted by roads. But certainly animals that are slow to reproduce, animals that are attracted to some of the habitat features of roads, like the shoulders and the, in the wet ditches, are disproportionately more impacted. The net result of a lot of road ecology research and engineering innovation are eco-passages. And they're quite evident on the landscape and for the most part, in theory, are working to get wildlife across roads. So road ecology is one of those emerging applied scientists that has a place for everyone. From citizen scientists, to policymakers, to educators, to serious academics. There's just such a diversity of what you can do to help and to be involved in road ecology projects. Report sightings, drive carefully through habitat, look for wildlife, watch for the signs if you see them, you know, pay a little bit more attention. And then yeah, um, as the citizen you can do a little bit more. You can attend if there's a local road project and in this day and age there typically is a municipal road project going on about expansion or a new road through habitat. See what the plans are, comment. Be that voice for wildlife as we try to move through our landscape as the animals are trying to move through theirs. It becomes so normal that we kill things when we drive. I think people become a bit inured to it, like they don't even think about it anymore because it just happens so often. One of the first things that happened to me after I got my driver's license is I hit a porcupine on the road and I was so upset. I was crying and everything. I just remember, still remember that. I would think that that probably had an effect on the fact that I went into road ecology. Well, clearly the biggest impact that roads have on species is direct mortality. Lenora Farag and her colleagues have showed that of all of the impacts, really the one we need to be most concerned with is just keeping animals off the road. Folks like Parks Canada have been true champions from coast to coast to coast. There definitely is this cultural shift. There are, you know, the municipalities, the engineers, they are seeking road ecology solutions to implement. We're trying to see the road as an ecosystem. I see no reason that this can't be a model for other municipalities throughout Canada. All it really takes is a willingness to do it. But it stands to reason that if we're all doing something that we should try and be strategic and as, as efficient as possible to try and maximize the limited resources that we all have to manage this issue, this very important issue. The habitat isn't restricted by conservation authority boundaries or municipal boundaries. The wildlife aren't aware of these boundaries. So it's, it's really important to, to work together to really examine road ecology and landscape connectivity, you know, not on a municipal level, regional level, or even provincial level. It's really important to start to examine from this national level.